So I start from the top, I work my way down, right? And I try to do this as fast as possible, all right? Uh, my clearance lights, my ID lights appear to be secure, clean, not cracked, working properly. And burn color. Three lights in the middle indicate my tractor is more than 80 inches wide. I check for any leaks, anything dragging, any leaning, which indicate um, a flat tire, broken spring, or an offset load. My windshield wipe, uh, my windshield appears to be secure, clean, no cracks. My windshield wipers appear to, appear to be secure. My hood's secure, my grill's secure, there's no debris. My bumper's secure, not bent, not cracked, no broken, missing bolts. My license plate is properly mounted and valid. My headlights, clean, not cracked, working properly. My left turn signal light and right marker light are both amber in color, clean, not cracked, working properly. Hey, you got buddy, you got to stand behind That's me. My hood. Pretending like I'm Massachusetts, so I got a time limit. Okay. I want to mention our wipers are secure, that's fine. This is my windshield washer fluid reservoir secure, no leaks. This is where I will fill it under the cast where I check it. All my hoses and clamps are secure, no crack, no leaks. This is my coolant reservoir secure, no leaks. This is where I check, this is where I fill. My, whole, uh, my wiring probably connected, no chafing. My turbo appears to be secure, no broken and missing bolts, no leaks. My alternator is secure, no broken or missing bolts, belt driven, my belt is uh, no cuts, no shiny spots, no more than three quarters inch play. Underneath that is my water pump, secure, no leaks, uh, belt driven. My frame is straight, not bent, no cracks or welds. This is my oil where I check and fill it, secure, no leaks. My radiator mount, my cab mount is secure, no broken or missing bolts. My shock is over secure, no broken or missing bolts, top and bottom, no leaks. My spring hanger, my leaf springs, and my U-bolts are secure. No broken or missing bolts, no broken or missing leafs. My tie rod, when I reach down and grab it, should be no side-to-side -side play, okay? And it should be held down by a castle nut and carter pin. My airline secure, no cracks, no leaks. My brake can and clamp are secure. No, bro no broken or missing bolt, no leaks on my, uh, my brake can. My slack adjuster and push rod, when I pull on it, should be no more than one inch to throw. Push rod should be straight, not bent. My brake lining should be no less than a quarter inch thickness. Inside and outside of my rim, no cracks or wells. Inside and outside of my sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasion. My tread desk should be evenly worn, no less than 432nd of tread depth. Cannot be a recap. Kick for a proper inflation. Massachusetts, I would let them know I have a tread depth gauge. Would you like me to use it? Brake drum, no bloom, which indicate overheating and should be free of any grease and contaminants. All my lug nuts are tight, no rust, no shiny thread, which indicates slippage. My hub and hub seal secure, no leaks, no broken or missing bolts. Here's where I check, here's where I fill. My valve stem and cap is secure, no leaks. If I'm Massachusetts, I will let them know I have a pressure gauge. Uh, if you'd like me to check the uh, pressure on the, on the tire, uh, it should be like 105 pounds, okay? My wiring, no chafing, properly connected. My fuse box is secure. My air filter is secure. There's no debris in here. My AC compressor is secure. No broken or missing bolts. It's belt driven. My belt, no cuts, no shiny spots. The more than three quarters of your play. My compressor and governor are secure. No leaks. It's gear driven. Underneath that is my uh, uh, power steering pump. And for Massachusetts, also my fuel pump. Area appears to be secure. No leaks. And that is also gear driven. My radiator mount and my cab mount should be secure, no broken or missing bolts. My frame is straight, not bent, no cracks or welds in it. My steering shaft secure, no side-to-side -side play. My U-joint is properly greased, no broken or missing end caps. All my hoses and clamps are secure properly, no cracks or leaks. This is my power steering reservoir, secure, no leaks. This is where I check, this is where I fill. My power steering gearbox secure, no broken or missing bolts, no leaks. My pitman arm, my drag link, secure, no side-to-side -side play, held down by a castle nut and carter pin on both ends. My spring hanger, leaf springs, and U-bolts are secure, no broken, missing bolts, no broken, or missing leaves. Again, my frame is straight, not bent, no cracks or welds. My shock is over secure, no broken, missing bolt, top and bottom, no leaks. My tie rod, if I could reach down and grab it, should be no side-to-side -side play. And it should be have uh, also have a carter pin and castle nut, uh, not broken or missing. My airline secure, no cracks, no leaks. My brake can and clamp are secure. No broken or missing bolt, no leaks. My slack adjuster and push rod, when I pull on it, should be no more than one inch of throw, and the push rod should be straight, not bent. My brake lining should be no less than a quarter inch thickness. Inside, outside of my rims, no cracks or wells. Inside, outside of my sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. My tread depth should be evenly worn, no less than 432nd. A tread depth cannot be a recap. 
My brake drum, no blue which indicate overheating, should be free of any grease and contaminants. All my lug nuts are tight, no rust, no shiny thread which indicate slippage. My hub, hub seal secure, no broken and missing bolts, no leaks. This is where I check, this is where I fill. My valve stem and cap is secure, no leaks, right? Obviously I secured the hood, but secure it, latch my hood up, boom, boom, boom. Okay? I start here, my left turn signal light, amber in color, clean, not crack, working properly. My mirror bracket, my handle, and my steps are secure. My door is secure, my hinges are secure. I have 100% of weather strip all the way around. My fuel tank, my fuel lines are secure, no leaks. No rust on my fuel strap to indicate slippage. My fuel cap, if you wanted me to open, I'd be checking for a rubber chain, a uh, metal chain and a uh, rubber gasket. My battery box will be on the other side, but Connecticut, if it's on this side, I'll mention it. My battery box secure. If you wanted me to open, I'd be checking for tight connections, no corrosions. My air tanks are secure, no leaks. That's why I would drain them at the end of my shift. My air and electrical lines are all secure. My air lines and electrical lines, there's no chafing, no leaks, not dragging on the catwalk. My dummy coupling secure. My glad hands are secure. If you wanted me to open it, I'd be checking for the rubber grommet and make sure there's no wrinkle or tear in it. If you wanted me to check my electrical line and make sure there's no corrosion in here and all my pins are straight and not bent. My header boards clean, no holes, no damage. My catwalk securely mounted to my frame, no broken or missing bolts. My frame is straight, not bent, no cracks or welds in it. My dry shaft and my U-joints. My dry shaft should be straight, not bent, no cracks in it. And my U-joints should be properly greased and uh, no broken or missing end caps. My quarter fender secure. My fifth wheel levers in locked position. I have no space between my fifth wheel trailer apron. This was a sliding fifth wheel and make sure the pins are out and it's in locked position. And I have proper space between my tractor and my landing gear. My spring hanger appears to be secure, no broken or missing bolts. Kick both my tires for proper inflation. Tread depth should be no less than 2 32nd of tread. Can be a recap. Sidewall, cuts, cracks, or brazers. Rims or cracks are welds. All my lug nuts are tight. No rust, no shiny tear, which indicates slippage. My axle seal secure. No leaks, no broken, missing bolts. No rust, no shiny thread. Here's where I check it. My valve stem and cap are secure. No leaks. My trailer apron appears to be secure. No holes, no damage. No light between my fifth wheel trailer apron. My fifth wheel appears to be properly greased. My lock and jaws locked around my pink pin. My fifth wheel is securely mounted to my frame. No broken or missing bolts on either side. My frame is straight, not bent. No cracks or welds. No broken or missing parts. Both my air lines appear to be secure. No cracks, no leaks. Both my brake hand and clamp are secure. No broken or missing bolt, no leaks. If I could check my slack adjusters and push rods, there should be no more than one inch to throw. Both push rods should be straight, not bent. Both my airbags secure, no cracks, no leaks. My left turn signal light is red in color, clean, not cracked, working properly. My right marker light is red in color, clean, not cracked. My reverse light is clear, clean, not cracked. You see what I mean? My license plate is clear, clean, not cracked, working properly. My license plate is properly mounted and valid. Both my muff flaps are secure, no broken or missing bolts, and uh, not dragging on the ground. Uh, both my shock is over, secure, no broken or missing bolts top and bottom, no leaks. Both my spring hanger leak springs and U-bolts appear to be secured, no broken or missing parts. Both inside my rim, no cracks or welds. Both inside my brake line should be no less than a quarter inch thickness. Both my brake drums should have no balloon which indicate overheating, should be free of any grease and contaminants. Both inside sidewalls, no cuts, cracks or abrasions. My floor, my cross beams, snow holes in my floor, no broken or missing cross members, secure. My landing gear appears to be secure, no damage, no broken or missing bolts. Both my footings appear to be secure in upright position. I have no debris between my tools. My tires are evenly spaced, there's no space between my rims. On my rims, no cracks or welds. Inside sidewalls, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. Side of my trailer is clean, no holes, no damage. I have at least 50% of reflective tape. My mid-trailer left turn signal is amber in color, clean, not cracked, working properly, actually indicates my trailer is more than 30 feet long. My air lines secure, no cracks, no leaks, at least a foot off the ground. My air tank secure, no leaks. I would pull that drain pull uh, to drain my air out of it. At the end of my shift, my brake cans and clamp are secure, no broken or missing bolt, uh, no leaks. Both my spring hanger leaf springs and U-bolts are secure, no broken or missing parts. If I have airbags, I'll mention my airbags if I see them. If I have shock absorbers, I'll mention my shock absorbers if I see them. Both inside my rim, no cracks or welds. Both inside my brake lining, no less than a quarter inch thickness. Both inside my brake drum should have no bluing, which indicate overheating, should be free of any grease and debris. 
both my inside sidewall, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. My sliding tandem lever should be in locked position, my pin should be out. There's no debris between my duals, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions inside sidewalls. My tires are evenly spaced, there's no space between my rims and uh, no cracks or welds. My valve stem and cap is secure here. And my valve stem and cap on this tire is secure, no leaks. Kick both my tires for proper inflation. Sidewall, no cuts, cracks, or abrasions. Rims or cracks or welds. All my lug nuts are tight, no rust, no shiny thread, which in the case of it. My hub seal secure, no broken or missing bolts, no leaks. Here's where I would fill it. Mud flap appears to be secure, no broken or missing bolts, not dragging on the ground. My ABS light is amber in color, clean, not cracked. My marker light is red in color, clean, not cracked, working properly. My identification lights are red in color, clean, not cracked, working properly. Actually, indicate that my trailer is more than 80 inches wide. My door is clean, no holes, no damage. My lock is in locked position. My left turn signal lights red in color, clean, not cracked, working properly. My brake lights and my right marker light are red in color, clean, not cracked. My license plate is clear, clean, not cracked. My license plate properly mounted and valid. My ICC bar appears to be secure, not bent. No broken or missing bolts, no damage. At least 50% of reflective tape. When my trailer is loaded, I should be no lower than 18 inches from the ground. When my trailer is empty, I should be no higher than 30 inches from the ground. My slack adjusters and my push rods. If I could check them, should be no more than one inch throw. Both push rods should be straight, not bent. I cannot check them because my spring brakes are applied. Uh, sir, would you assist me in checking my brake lights? I go to the cab, I get in, I shut my door, I look in my mirror, I tap my fucking brakes. He gives me a thumbs up, the brakes are working, then I put my right turn signal light. I come back out here. I let him know my right turn signal light is ready, color clean, not cracked, working properly. My brake lights are not working properly. Thank you, sir, for giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> now, if he's kind enough that I've done such a great fucking job that you can ask me the differences. <laughs> First difference I'm gonna tell him is my right turn signal lights on my trailer and my tractor are amber and color, clean, not cracked, working properly. Side of my door is clean, no holes, no damage, properly latched, no broken, missing hinges. My spare tire rack, I would kick it, make sure it's secure. If I have a spare tire in there, it should be properly chained, no less than 432nd of tread depth. Cannot be a recap served because I can use it for a steer tire and a trailer tire. My right turn signal light on my tractor is red in color, clean, not cracked, working properly. My exhaust stack should be secure, no broken or missing bolts, no black soot stains, which indicate a leak, and I would follow that under my cab. I want to make sure that uh, I have no fumes leaking up into my cab, sir. My right turn signal light on my cab is, uh, front of my cab is uh, amber and color, clean that crack working properly. And uh, now I'll, I'll continue to put on my four-way flashers and do my final walk around, then I will unchop my wheels right away, and that would complete my pre-trip inspection. I'm ready for maneuvers, motherfucker. <laughs> That's how we do it here. That's how we do it.